welcome back to my channel Targa and nicole here how are you guys doing i hope you are doing well if you're new welcome if you're not new welcome back thank you so much for joining me um um yeah we in the car today we in the car it was a it's a beautiful day out like it's like 50 degrees so it's a little chilly actually my car though is warm so i'm gonna take this off um and i was out and about and i was like let me show them let me go check out the dollar tree by my house because every time i go to the dollar tree there's two let me not lie there's two dollar trees by my house but i never go to this one for some reason so i was like ah, i'm just going out the house my dad's like, where are you going i'm like i really don't know he's like no where are you going i was like yeah i really don't know so i think he thought i was trying to be smart but i really had no clue i just knew i didn't want to be in the house because i work from home and i'm in the house all day anyway let's get right into the video so i went into the dollar tree because i said i was just gonna look right 27 dollars later okay don't judge me okay so let's see what I got. I'm gonna show y'all snacks and all, okay? Cause this morning I got on scale and was mad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a dollar for these Reese's milk chocolate peanut butters. I like Reese's, okay? Reese's Twix, not so much a Snickers girl, and sweet candy. What is your favorite candy? Comment down below. Okay. So let me try and get. I'm just going by bag, y'all. So then this. Okay, and then when I was, if I say okay one more time, when I was going to check out, I saw they had Godiva Belgium 1926 Masterpiece Dark Chocolate Ganache Hearts. Uh huh, uh huh. And I was like, oh, Godiva for real though. So I'm gonna give it a try. We not eating all these snacks in one day, Tara. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is so cute. This is Starburst and it's the red and like if you're anything like me, yeah, red and pink is where it's at. And look, you can give it as a cute little stocking stuffer. It says to and from. So if you know someone else who really likes these, you can buy them and I got two because one is clearly for me. You can buy them and put them as a stocking stuffer with their name on it. Oh my god, you guys. Let me finish all the snacks first before I show you the other stuff. So popcorners is a must. Okay, I love my popcorners, and I like this flavor. I like the jalapeno flavor, but they didn't have that, and I like the kettle corn flavor. You know, a little sweet. And then I also picked up some vegetable crackers. I like these. I like these plain, but I also like them with, like, cream cheese on them. And then I... These are old school, but I love them. See, they have rich with the cheese and ritz with the peanut butter but cheese is my favorite what's your favorite if you like these ritz cheese or peanut butter team cheese or team peanut butter i'm team cheese all the way though team the cheese don't really <laughs> like me so much but it's okay it's okay all right i think that's all the snacks that i picked up now to all the other stuff so in the area for the holiday stuff there was this diy led paper house and it says you get, so you get these cute little DIY, these DIY, these LED tea lights. Hope y'all can see. That come with it. I only see one, so maybe you only need one. And you make this cute little paper house. I thought that was so cute. I'm like, oh, that even kind of goes with my decor. They had another one that was like a different color, but I really liked that this one was like more blues and this is a little bright and grays, but I, I mean, let me see. We're gonna see what it do. I like it. I'm gonna let y'all know how that turns out. If I do any of these projects before the video comes out, I'll probably insert clips of what they turned out like. You know, trying to be a real YouTuber, okay? So I really, really loved the um, small version of these frames. That when I saw the large version of these frames, I kind of had to pick them up, okay? These is the this is these are three of them. That's what I'm saying. These they're the gold and white version of those small frames. And I was only gonna buy two, but I was like, usually group things in a group of three, so I got three. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Am I putting them anywhere right now? No, but I swear in my new house they're gonna be fly. They're gonna find a spot. They're super cute. Um, what else do I gonna say about these? You just have to be careful because they are dollar store. I found that sometimes if you don't be careful in pulling these up so you can put your pictures in, that will like rip off or yeah, yeah. It's a dollar, y'all. It's a dollar. Be gentle with it. That's all I can say. And I think if you use some puzzling, you're being gentle. It'll come off anyway. So you might want to buy a backup for a backup if it's your project or something. Alright. 
And so then in the Christmas section, I also saw these and I wasn't going to do it, y'all, but I had to. <laughs> They're so cute. I got one for me <laughs> to play in my room and I got one for my, my niece. So she's the only girl in her group of brothers. So this one is for my niece. <gasps> Tell me that's not so cute. And you have to be careful when you're looking because I had to go look for ones that were clean because there were a few in the front and I was like, bro, that ain't clean. So this is just a stocking, you know, like a cute little unicorn stocking on. It's iridescent. Oh my God, y'all. Listen, you can't even tell me that's not cute. So I got myself because my scheme is more of a winter wonderland scheme with the blues and the whites. And uh, yeah, look at that. And the silvers. Oh my God, this is iridescent as well. This is not stocking. Oh my God. I don't, only good thing that concerns me is with these, I don't really see anywhere where you can hang it from so oh i lied okay there's something inside here so you can get your little thumbtack or whatever and you hang it oh my god all right i'm done i'm done y'all i'm done with that okay so so that's that and so i was really only going in there to look at christmas so that's all that really caught my eye christmas wise but then i went in the store for general things to so just look at general things and i saw I picked up the, this dry erase marker because y'all know I lost my dry erase marker. Although I think I'm gonna keep using um, the permanent marker because like budgeting D reminded me, duh, just use um, hand sanitizer or nail polish remover and it should come off. But I'm gonna get, the, I got these for another reason because I found this thing which is so cute for my nephews and nieces. It's a reusable dry erase pocket. So what you do is like you put an insert in it with like problems and stuff and instead of them writing all over the insert so they can use it more than once, you they write on it with a dry erase and they and they just wipe it off. That is so cute. These are the examples of like some of the ones or what you can create. I didn't see any inserts for them per se, but I guess you can just make your own on paper and then that will go with this. So and it's a pocket, like literally a pocket. So this I thought would be cute to give for the kids to work on their numbers, letters, and they'll be reusable so they can each use it over and over again. Then, ooh, oh, I forgot one more. Oh, I forgot more snacks. My bad. But this one is LaCroix Water Pamplin Yep, that, that, that right there. That right there. <laughs> this is a big old thing of LaCroix Water. Um, so for a dollar. So it's called Pamplin Mousse. And play mousse sparkling water is the flavor. I'm hoping it's delicious. It's water, y'all. And I like a little fuzz in my water sometimes. So fizz in my water sometimes. So that's that. I I want uh, this is the last snack right here though. Like I want snack, but I like to buy my snacks from the Dollar Tree. They're inexpensive and um they usually last me a little while. So you know they don't, girl. You eat them all the time. All a lot, all at once. It's so bad. So here goes a nature's garden mountain trail mix. It's a blend of sea salted peanuts. Raisins, M&M's, milk chocolate candies, salted almonds, and salted cashews. The only There's 130 calories per pack and 4 grams of protein. Only thing that I don't like about this is that everything's got to be salted. I don't want everything salted all the time. And it looks like there is four individual pack, packs. So let me show y'all. Let's both see because I've never bought this before. This was a new buy for me. What they look like. Okay, so this is this is so this is technically 130 calories. That that's bad because I know that I could eat like four of these, and maybe I'm eating way too many calories. Also, my scale is like sis. You're not eating but once, but you eating a lot of stuff because I be eating them nuts. Okay, and so then I also picked up this, which is just a gift bag set of three, and there's cute smaller gift bags. Um this is pretty i had this one in mind for someone uh in particular their birthday is coming up they're aka so pink and green and also i bought a cute little i'm not gonna say in case they're watching to put in it so and then there's this one and there's also 
this one so they're fun and i can keep them in my stash y'all know y'all got who else got a stash comment down below you got a stash of bags you know what i'm talking about try not to get too crazy with it but you know you got a stash this is why i went i, I was had a 20 dollar budget but somehow i ended up with like 27 because there's tax because i decided the last minute when i saw these i wanted to get my nieces and nephews some books so learning with music easy and fun and they have additional and you get a free album download so that sounds cool i hope the information is in there for the download and it's just um oh yeah there's download information there I don't know maybe you can see it maybe you can use it okay 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 i'll try and leave that in the description if i remember and it's ages five and up so this is just basically what the book looks like it's just addition yes addition this is fun with addition so this looks very promising and very gender neutral because i was finding that there was a lot of like princess ones and i'm like okay but i've got boys like I'm, there are two boys three boys two there's two boys and two girls, but one girl is a is like a 14 year old, so that's why not. That's why I wasn't thinking about her. Like one little girl. So, uh, numbers and counting, one through 20. So this one's more like for the boys. Um, my nephew who is five, I think six. I don't know anymore. They just had birthdays. Then this one is reading comprehension. It's really for the boy, but he's going to have to get over that it's a girl book because he needs to read, okay? Reading is fundamental. And then this is for the smaller one who's like four. And she is Pepper Pig. And it's a jumbo coloring and activity book. So I, I don't like just getting you like a regular coloring book. You need to be doing things like color, do tic-tac-toe, how many of these. I like when they're at color by number. I like when they're... There are activities where you can actually learn something while you're coloring. So whether she's going to do it is beyond me. That one says it doesn't give an age range. And then I'm not even sure anybody can use this book right this moment because they're like four, six or five, six and eight, something like that. And I'm not sure yet if anybody can use this, but I couldn't leave it in the store because look what it is. <laughs> First of all, it's Tiana duh second of all it's time and money okay money like i'm a budgeter we have to we have to teach the children about the budgeting so in this one it's money recognition time units and practice pages so you know it's like how many it's a penny a dime a nickel i love it it's so cute oh my god i'm so happy they have a little book like this then you have to add up how much money you have. Oh, my gosh. And I'll make it fun by, like, actually giving them some real money to do it with. Um, but, yeah, that's that. And then the very last thing I have, you guys, from the Dollar Tree, which I was shocked to see there. It looks really tiny, but it was a dollar, so I'm wondering if it works. We'll give it a try, obviously. It's called an Aroma Diffuser, water-free diffusing battery operated. I don't understand how it's water-free. I don't know of any diffusers that I have ever used that are water free so i'm not really sure how that works rotate the base of the fuser remove the vase add up to four to six drops of essential oil to the pad replace the pad holder and base push the button to turn on so it looks like all it does is use whatever essential oil that you put in there that's cute i love that they have a little brown lady up there thank you a couple and a single person yes come through with the variety um products designed for healthier and happier homes it is battery operated it doesn't say whether or not actually you know what guys let's look at it because i want it's such a small box let's see how big it is oh okay this is what it looks like very like if you are minimalistic modern this would probably be your vibe and i'm assuming this is like the i don't know the diffuser pad but later on in the video maybe we'll try it out and then there's a button that you click that clicks and un Ooh, or doesn't unclick. Ooh, what I do? Did I break it already? Lord. Oh, it unclicks <laughs> and clicks. So yeah, and this is I assume where the battery goes. I don't see no battery, so maybe they didn't give me a battery. That's okay. I've got batteries at home. But that was it. I thought that was really cute. This is gonna go really well in my silver and white type of scheme room, and I spent twenty-seven forty-two. So I actually picked up a glade cashmere woods um air freshener block but um shout out to what is it brianna with a twist she had picked up a cinnamon one and i'd already picked up one for the bathroom 
that was like an islandy scent but i was like let me see if i could find something more seasonal so i didn't want to get the cinnamon apple so i figured i actually did have it at first and then i was like nah i saw this cashmere woods because i'm more of a masculine musky kind of girl scent wise so i'm hoping this really smells good i think i'm gonna leave this one for my room yeah i didn't i didn't want to forget to tell you all about that <laughs> okay all right so i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, happy vlogmas Hope your holiday season is going well. Remember, as I always say, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye!